Welcome to the channel. Today, don't mind those other parts back there, that's for another video. But, we got stock 22 F250 trimmer on 35s, and well, I picked up some used 37s for uh, fitment purposes. They're not in the best shape in the world, but they got about, uh, let's say 40% tread. It's a little dry rotting, so it won't be an official tire for this truck, but we can figure out what all works on this truck. We've got a lot of things that's gonna go on in this video other than just test fitting these bad boys and seeing how well they work out. I don't think it's got rub, my personal opinion. Everybody wants to know. Do these trucks work out well with 37s? Please. There we go. There's one out of the four. Anyways, if they work well with 37s, if they rub, if they do this, they do that, because everyone asks, do I need a lift? What size lift do I need to go a size bigger? Well, by gosh, today we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> and maybe some other parts on the truck and some fun adventures on an even bigger farm than ours. You have a mosquito on your face. You just want me to. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Okay, yeah, there that, we go. That would have been good. But anyways, let's go ahead. Uh, we've got a long haul to our destination and we're going to a family farm that's multiple states away. I'm gonna be able to get some fuel mileage for straight interstate pools. I know the last video showed some interstate pool of 21 miles to the gallon. This one is going to be straight interstate, and then we're going to be hitting flat country because we're going out west. So we're going to hit a lot of flatness to where we can get maximum interstate mileage. And then I'm actually going to be towing a tractor for uh, about an hour and a half, two hours. So then we'll even get some pulling, how much it drops on the interstate pulling mileage. And then on the way back, this thing should be on the 37s to see how much difference the 37s make without recalibrating the gauge. And if we rub. Lots to get done in this video. This video is going to take about six days, FYI. But you all see it within 16 minutes. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Face loaded up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shoot. I almost forgot. We got to fall over here. So we just get a reference. Still got two of these tires sitting out. Here's the rear. If you want to come out to there to where they can actually look and see. So I've already done some redneck science like Weston Champlin, Chaplin however you say his last name, does redneck side, so rear should ob obviously be fine. It's always the front you gotta worry about. So if you come over to the front, not so good. But, where'd your shirt go, bro? I'm a boy. <laughs> okay. All right, so on the front here, I've already done a Full turn left and right to see where the rub points could be. It's obviously going to be quite a bit bigger than that tire. And the only place I found issues with so far is honestly, these are fingers crossed off of my redneck science. I'm only going to have to cut just a little bit of my mud flap here. And that should be it. Just right, right through here is about where it's going to hit. If it is going to hit, the control arm seems fine. Radius arm. All the steering components in the front seem fine. When the trimmer comes with a smaller diffuser, air dam, however you want to specify it, looks fine. All this cleared very easily with over an inch of room. So I think we should be good to go on a stock suspension. And heck, technically I can just take these off, but I'm getting old. I like my mud flaps. <laughs> All right, everyone, we are back in town. I can't quite remember what the intro says in it uh, because that was over a week ago, but we got the 37s on the truck. Little man wanted to be in the video. And we did lose out on when I was out of state on vacation. Uh, we was going to tow a big, massive tractor. It's going to be about three to four hours worth of driving overall to get a really good fuel uh, miles per gallon with towing with these things because that's one thing I haven't done yet. But we are actually going to go pick up a piece of equipment. We've got a lot of work to do on the land. So it will be a very short period of towing, but I can still give a quick review. I mean, we're going to go get a skid steer and a big trailer to haul it so have a little bit of that but uh, as soon as we get back i will go ahead and tell you how that worked out what fuel mileage i'll reset it once the trailer's hooked it's not gonna be for a long time it's gonna be like a 30 minute drive yeah energy water right there buddy uh it's only gonna be like a 30 minute drive or so so it won't be that great for you but typically a lot of people around here drive about 30 minutes at a time with a trailer that actually has a load on and then also uh, where we've got some of those big topsoil mounds, we're going to do some flexing with the 37s, how it is with no lift. Well, it's got the trimmer lift, a package lift from the factory. And it 
I'll go ahead and tell you, there's some rubbing, but you'll be surprised how bare minimum it is and how it's really not an issue. It's really surprising. My 2017 Platinum F250 that I had a three inch level on, on 37s, rubbed worse than this one does. So for whatever you did with these trimmers, and the rub issue is something that you all couldn't fix anyways. Ford could not fix the issue I have with this rub issue. But uh, it's better than 2017. And it's just a little factory two inch lift. Not bad. But let's go get the equipment and then get back for the rest of the review for these 37s. Here we go. I only went 12 miles. Now, just remember, I also haven't recalibrated my gauge to the 37s yet. That'll be happening next week. I haven't had time for that just yet. But says 11, I know with the 37s on on my daily driving, it was showing me about almost one and a half miles to a gallon less than what I was on the 35s since I haven't recalibrated. So hopefully maybe 12 miles to a gallon. And then yeah, I guess we can actually show you what wasn't a big massive load by any means, but dual axle uh, T450. So ready to get to work, buddy? Yeah. All right. And also, real quick, real quick, I'll go ahead and turn this off. I'll go ahead and show you some of the rub marks from just a daily drive, and plus, I guess, this tow, technically speaking. All right, so we're clear up here. What? And then, I'm actually still got the mud flaps on. They're doing just fine. It hasn't hit them. But, at full turn, it does knock the dirt off of the radius arm, which I was kind of expecting. And that's why I was talking about, about Ford can't fix that for me because there's no offset on the wheels. So, but I'm happy, able to keep mud flaps and this side hits a little bit worse. But that is at 100% full turn. The truck's not a full turn right now. And then it looks like it is slightly nicking right there as well. Once again, that's all at full turn. I am gonna get a set of wheels and everything or some good wheel spacers to where I don't have to worry about it hitting. But that's just for the daily driving. Then here in a minute, after I get all the equipment off, camera doesn't do it justice, but this thing's about three feet tall. So we're gonna go on the far side over there where it's a pretty hard drop off. Go and see how well we can flex the truck up there and see if there's any additional rubbing that's outside of just daily driving. And if you, my little helper over there, he likes to do some graffiti on my truck pretty often, it seems like. Yep, yep, yep there we go. Up, up, there's some more. <laughs> but it's just a truck, and he's a kid. So here we go for the flex real quick. Wheel's not fully locked because I'm not inside the truck, but this is as close as I can get doing it by myself. Still clears there. Still not hitting the mud flap over here. If we go over here. Still cleared the mud flat, but this is where we're gonna get close to. Yeah, see, when it's flexing, that's when it's rubbing. So, there's your flex for it. That's fully locked out without physically holding the wheel that extra like one inch. So that's where it's rubbing. The radius arms is on the, basically the full flex right there. So, now that I've showed you that, Pretty sure I showed you everything else. Back tires, this one's tucked a little bit, but still plenty of clearance all the way around. No needs of worry right there. Now, obviously on this side, I don't think I have anything to worry about when it's barely touching the ground. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have to get back to operating that skid steer. My buddy's using it right now because I was trying to finish this video. Uh, and actually this amount of dirt will be gone because we are finally making the land perfect and then well we got to do the spring cleaning on it from where it looks like crap from winter time and everything blowing around in our 40 mile per hour winds that took a lot of thing out, things out into the field but as long as this video didn't take too long just to show those things i'll be going ahead and throwing in some of our vacation videos too if not that can be a quick little video for another time or something but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up stop by for the first time please subscribe you'll have a great day